morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the regular season finale between the Green Hornets and the Red Army. Both teams now vying for, at this point, competition between which sides will be sitting on which side for next week live. Yeah, definitely, Andy. You know, looking at the Green Hornets, they definitely have the advantage right now. And if they won or even just tied in this game, they'll be sitting exactly where they are for next week's matchup. And it'll also, you know, might as well be a deja vu matchup for next week. However, if the Red Army happen to pull out another win, they'll be the ones sitting on the left-hand side of our camera for next week's matchup. Either way, Clive, both of these teams, you know, don't expect too much. They'll be playing against each other next week. As well as for the other game, Grey Wolves and the Yellow Jackets. It'll be same, same thing, so expect not too much uh, vibe in these two matchups, Clive. You definitely, you know, both teams are looking to just ease it out and we consider this more to be ice time for both teams. But let's get to the fact that, you know, Green Hornets, Rick and Loft. Can't say it enough how many times this guy has been the heart and soul of the Green Hornet team. And just look for him to finish on out. Another player, Jim Nardell. You know, we haven't heard his name in a while, but he's definitely contributed. Red Army. We have Rick Nader. You know, definitely another one of those guys, just like Jim Nardell. I haven't heard his name a lot. And then of course, you know, one of my personal underestimated guys is Dave Garrett. You know, this big fella definitely has shown strong so far with this season with the Red Army. And finishing this game will definitely add on to a great career that he's had so far. We are now just 10 seconds away. Green Hornets at 5-5-1. Five, five Red Army just half a game behind at 5-6. For the Red Army, they'll be looking to get back on Paul six and six, and that's the buzzer. Face-off will be coming up in just a few moments. Stay tuned. And there we go. It's Steve Burn, Asaro, clearing this one out. Roberge taken away by Gallant. Now it's Armstrong. Nardo. Dispossessed. Now back to Burn. To Galant. Taken away by McCants. Asaro. Knocked away by Armstrong and now it's for Paul. Nader Neil Armstrong Real chance Poor shot there He had a near opportunity It's not like Neil Armstrong to just Shoot it like that yeah, Definitely Neil Armstrong you know There's great opportunity there It's just a misfire of the shot Definitely lost him And that definitely saves The Green Hornets as now a face-off is coming up. Washburn. Broken up by Tola. Derek. Washburn. Knocked away by Cristiano. and Finley on the face-off. Put back to Garrick. Washburn. It's haunted. Cristiano to Tola. 
Takes a weak shot to the left. Should take a little bit more care of the puck. Balata. Cristiano. Garrick. Takes a short. Just left. Nader on the rebound. Can't put it in. Real disappointment. Real disappointment for the Red Army, but definitely a great save by Joe Gambone. He's definitely working today. And it appears that Gambone, a little bit too hard possibly, could be bad news for the Green Hornets. He's stretching it out. He looks like he's good to go, Clive. Definitely, Andy. That's a good thing he is ready to go there. But that could have been real unfortunate if he might have pulled something. Galant, Larry Rapport. Knocked away by Byrne. Now it's Galant. On the move for the Green Hornets. To Nardell. And with the shot, a Sarah near opportunity to put this game 1 0 and just couldn't capitalize. It's Nardell back to Cologne. Burning it's Armstrong, real opportunity. Gets it over to Nader, takes a shot. Knocked away by the keeper. Gambon really on target today. He definitely, look at him. He's the best we've seen all season. Joe Gambon. Remarkable performance by him so far in the first five minutes of this game. He denies any Red Army attempt. That's what you gotta love about Gambon. Face hole. Tom Strong. And the puck going backwards now as Roberge gets it off to Rapal. Back to Roberge. No, past him. It's Randy Cristiano. Knocked an in Valotas position. to Cristiano, Dolge. It's Dolge. Had a near opportunity, but Masher and takes it away. Balata with the shot. Off of the keeper, Larry Wood. Masher in. Roberge. Deflected off of Dolge. Paul. Roberge. He looked like he was on the move. Gets it to Masherin. Now to Finley. Takes a short. Gambon knocks it away. Nardo. Off of Garrett's skate. And there goes Finley. To Paganella. Garrett. Intercepted, not do. Takes a short. Saved by the keeper. Six minutes of play currently. 
scoreline, nil-nil. And a tight game, Clive, wouldn't you say? I would agree so, Andy, you know. No score so far. Both, the, both of these teams evenly marched. Really love the competition here. Garrett. Pass D'Angelo. It's Garrick again. Pass Burn. Keeper knocking it away. Washburn. Garrick. Takes a short. Cologne knocks it away. Washburn. Off of Nardo. Had a real chance with Galant, just passed it a little bit too far, and that'll be an icing call. Gorgay and D'Angelo on the face-off, as Garrett takes the shot. And there goes Randy Cristiano. Nice tackle by Washburn. Foul ball. Garrick. Knocked away from the puck. Drop back from possession. Balata. Galgay. Real chance. Poor shot there. Should have watched out for the defender. Nader. It's McCants. Knocked away from the puck. Rapal. Paganello. Finley with the short. Keeper with the save. Mastering. Roberge. Keeps the puck moving. Burn. Nardo. Has it to Rick Gallant. Makes a move and he's dispossessed. Real unfortunate for Gallant. And the keeper makes a save. I beg your pardon. Apparently that wasn't a save, it was a goal. Made by, I believe, a Saro. Still a little bit questionable in regards to the goal there. Either way, it's 1-0 Green Hornets. Of course, that being a ninth minute goal. Saro looking for another chance as well Burge with the pot. Finley. Real chance by Masherin to take it away. Nardo. Galant. Takes a shot. Wide left of the keeper. Nardo, Burn, Asaro, Puck cleared out, Icing Cole, Puck now to McCants, D'Angelo, Garrett intercepted. It's haunted. Washburn. Off of Cristiano and back into Green Hornet possession. Squander now. It's McCants. Taller. Foul ball.
Just entering 11th minute of play now. McCants, Armstrong. Washburn. Armstrong makes a nice move up for Galge. Real chance. Now to McCants. Missed opportunity for the Red Army. Can't make the equalizer. Garrett. McCants. Hot Armstrong with the shot. He's got it. Equalizer opportunity for Neil Armstrong. In the 11th minute of play. Score tied now, 1-1. One, one. This is exactly what Neil Armstrong's known for. You know, he gets into the right position and he makes the equalizer happen for the Red Army. Puck now to Robert. appears that the tripping call is gonna give Perry Cologne the first yellow card of the game it was clearly a tripping call there you know he tried to get to the puck but he obviously tripped up the wrong person two minute now two minute play penalty however you want to call it for Cologne and a power play for the Red Army Clears it out. Galan dispossesses him, has a chance to take the lead. Nardo. The Galan can't finish. Now McCants. In the 12th minute now. Sliding. And the ref will signal advantage. Play on. Gallant looking for one more opportunity. Trying to get it to Nardo and stand it lands with Ra Larry Rapport. Robert. Burn. Gallant. Takes a short. And that's the first period. Score line, 1-1. One, one. Green Hornets, Red Army, second period, stay tuned. I have one thing to say. <laughs> second period underway, it's called gay. Cleared out by Hornet. Robert. Rapal. Back to Frank Hornet. Off the glass. Robert. McCants. Intercepted. Hornet. Rapal. Nader. Intercepted by Falbo. Great takeaway. Robert. This is Scott McCants. Haunted. Rapal. Nader. Taken away by Golge. Off of Rapal. And it's Falbo. Okay. Taking a shot. Okay. 
and it appears that both teams are making line lineup changes. And it'll be Tom Finley and Rick Gallant on the face-off. 14th minute, still 1-1. One, one. Gallant. Garrick. Lost control of the pot. And now it's Mashrin who picks up on it, but was knocked around by two defenders. Nardo. Rear chance. Takes a shot. Off the crossbar. And referee will... It doesn't seem like he's going to count that as a goal. No goal. to Cologne, Burn, Washburn. Cologne. Back to Nardo, takes a shot. Big pileup, it knocked off of the keeper. And he comes up with a save. Great effort. Now back to Cologne via a, Sa a Saro pass. Knocked away and cleared out. Gambone knocking it over towards Steve Byrne. Gets it to Parry Cologne. Intercepted by Garrick. And dispossessed by Steve Byrne. To Saro, to Galon. Now to Nardo, takes a shot. Missed. Obviously it was a miss. Steve Byrne knocking it away, now it's Jim Nardo. Green Hornets looked like they had a chance for a breakaway. Quickly denied by the Red Army. Galant. Takes a shot. Saved by the keeper. Pop over to Nader. Malata. Randy Cristiano. Takes a shot, falls to the keeper. Cristiano tried to take another shot. Quickly denied by Larry Wood. Puck over to McCants. Puck now to Gambone. Valata. Chuck Fabo. Takes a short, no one there. Valata. Saved by the keeper. Puck now, Roberge. Shot by Hornet to finish Falbo. Missed opportunity to take the lead. Dispossessed by Armstrong now, it's McCants. Armstrong off to the races. Open puck. That's Gabriel Burge. Puck now to Valata. Cristiano. Takes a shot, only to be saved by the keeper. Olga and D'Angelo on the face-off. Stop by the keeper! He's in! Chris Asaro with another effort shot. Larry Wood had the save, but I guess the shot made by Asaro 
made Larry Wood co get completely off balance and the puck just went right past him. Yeah, Larry Wood definitely, you know, one of his rare mistakes, you know, he typically holds down strong on the puck, but for Asaro to take advantage of that one, just completely confused Larry Wood and he bubbles the puck right into the net. So now score line 2-1 Green Hornets in the 18th minute of or soon to be 18 but it will be the 17th minute of play. Garrett with the puck. Dispossessed by Steve Byrne. Nardell to Galgay. He's having real trouble with the puck. Finally gets it off to Cologne. Intercepted, Garrick. And now to Masherin. And stopped by Steve Byrne. Garrick. Washburn. Steve Byrne had the puck, but referee stops play. Could be an offside. No. It appears that he's going to be booking Steve Byrne. And that'll be the first time he gets a yellow card in a while. And a Red Army power play is soon to be coming up. Strong and Tola. Nader. Tom Strong with the shot. Can't capitalize. Armstrong again looking for more. Roberts with the shot. And Ray Tola stops Nader. goes in thanks to a bounce off the puck lots of bounces there but it's gonna be McCants credited with the goal or perhaps it's an own goal <laughs> referees having some words and in the 19th minute of play the Red Army come up with the equalizer Randy Cristiano off of Armstrong and the Red Army now have another chance McCants takes a shot Armstrong real chance Gambo knocks it away Cristiano now it's a Saro one defender back Oh, excuse me, that's Hamid. He took a shot and Larry Wood comes up with the save. Takes a shot. Referee getting involved a little bit, but now Steve Paganella. Who eventually clears it. And saved by the keeper, Joe Gambone. Puck clearing out. Ret retained by Washburn. Dave Garrett. Paganella. Trying to buy time, taking a shot. Nardell. And the Green Hornets are on the move. Knocked away by Washburn. Now it's Tom Finley. Paganella. Takes a shot. Deflected off of Steve Byrne. Garrick. Looking to take his chance. 
Washburn. And that's Perry Cologne. Nardo. Asaro. Asaro with the shot. Off of the keeper. And they're on the move. Armstrong. Only the keeper to beat. Taking the shot, it's in. Great teamwork by McCanson, Neil Armstrong. And the Red Army, for the first time this game, have a 3-2 lead. Real opportunity, wouldn't you say, Clive? You definitely love the chemistry now between Armstrong and McCants. They developed it so far this season, and now we're seeing the benefits of it. Good job by these two. They deserved it. It's Valata. Randy Cristiano. Falbo. Takes a shot. Keeper falls on this one. There's the face-off. Report getting it over, but it's Randy Cristiano. And the puck knocked away. It's Neil Armstrong has a real chance, but Harnett gets to it first. Continue going backwards, and now Armstrong looking for a chance. McCants nails it in. Neil Armstrong got flipped over into end. But he'll be credited with the assist. And Scott McCants finished it off. The Red Army on a roll now. In the 22nd minute of play, scoreline 4 2. Putting out the Hornet. Off the boards. Giro Berge. Rapal. Dispossessed by, or not dispossessed, intercepted by Balata. Rob Berge. Steve Paganella. It's intended for Mashrin. It's that Green Hornets knock it away. <laughs> Finley. No one there, they're just fighting for nothing. No puck there. Galon, off the boards, real chance. Makes a move, takes a shot, and misses the keeper completely. This is Frank Harnig. Stop by Paganella. But still plays on. Will Burge. Harry Cologne. Burn takes a shot. Hot now cleared out. Be nice and cold. Out to Ray Toller. Steve Byrne with the shot. Nader. Now to McCants with another shot. Misses the keeper. Taller. Still have possession of the puck despite being covered. Takes a shot. 
nasty burn and now it's just knocking the pot around. Another 12 minutes of popping, total of 24 minutes now in the box. And third period will be coming off safe. Third period on the way. Garrett. McCants. Trying to knock it away, but now in Green Hornet possession. And it's going to be an offsides. And it appears that the Green Hornets are making a few substitutions. Steve D'Angelo, a Saro to Frank Hornet. Washburn knocks it away. Balata. Jim Nardo. Trying to set up. And takes a desperate shot. There's really no purpose there. He should have hung on to the pot. Washburn, Frank Hornet, Valata, Galant, Ooh, Nardell slams Paganella. And that's one that's going to be on the highlights for the weeks to come as the pot gets cleared out. Love that vicious hit. You know, you don't see those every day in hockey, e Andy. But shots like that is what some of us live to see, especially for these over 50 guys. A nice, a nice de leveling there by Jim Nardell. Mashering. He's got room. Can't cleanly get it to Paganella. And the puck now in the other direction. Burns pass. Taken away by Robert. Rapal. Finley. Takes a shot. Knocked away by the keeper. Rapal. Intercepted. Galant. Off the balls now, it's Nardo. Makes a move! Real chance! Steve Byrne to try to finish! Stopped by the keeper! Steve Byrne should have put a little bit more height to that Clyde. Would have been a chance for them to get back. Yeah, definitely. Steve Byrne with the time that he had there and the pass. He should have found a better way to try to put that puck in the net. But that one's going to be real unfortunate, you know. Real chance and Green Hornets couldn't capitalize. Scoreline still 4-2. Now in the 27th minute of play. Puck now to Armstrong. Good tackle by Cologne. Puck now D'Angelo. Intercepted by Cristiano. As Dave Garrick with the puck. Armstrong and referee saw something. Let's we'll see what it is. Just a mere foul. And as both the Green Hornets and the Red Army making changes to their lineup. Twenty-eighth minute now. Scoreline still four-two. Puck now to Valata. Haunted. Taken away by Masherin. 
Now to McCants. Gallant. Nodu. Back to Golge. Nodu takes a short. Referee blew his whistle. Means play stops, but the Green Hornets had otherwise. A little bit premature of the whistle there, wouldn't you say, Clive? Definitely, it's not over till it's over. And if Larry Wood still was bubbling with the puck, they should have still kept play on. Garrick. Gallant. Valata. Shot now by Hornet. Finley. Practically cleared out. Valata. Gallant. Jim Nardell. Nardo gets the puck away. Valata with the shot. Deflected off of Washburn. Here's the puck. Taller. Randy Cristiano. It's over to foul bowl. Hero Burge. Paganella. Trying to set up for a shot. He does take the shot. But Gambon falls on the pot. And it's the two captains facing off. On in. Knocks it away. And it'll be cleared out. No icing call. Never even reached the back line. Garrett. Angelo. Taken away by Hornet. And that was clearly an offside. Puck now. Knocked away by Hornet. Gorge. Valata. Takes a short. Asaro taps it in. And we have ourselves in a game now, Clive. Great shot by Chris Asaro, you know, keeping the game in and keeping this Green Hornet team alive. And late in this 30th minute, the Green Hornets have themselves now only down by 4 3. The Red Army allowing something like this to happen. Now it's a real game, and for the next six minutes, they'll really need to break down and start defending. And after that goal, Green Hornets making another lineup change. And Gallant viciously gets the puck over towards the Red Army zone, as now Nardeau. It's now Tom Finley. Hello. Intercepted sharply by Finley. Takes a shot, but referee is calling this one an offside. Hello. 
the balls. It's now Valota taking the shot. Keeper quickly passes it off to Robert. Rapal. Maganella. Randy Cristiano. It's Frank Hornet. Missed shot for the equalizer. And Giro Burst promptly knocks it away. Malata. It's in! I don't believe it! No! It's not in! Unbelievable! A shot that completely went in and waved off by the referees. This is really detrimental, Clive, to this Green Hornet team. Yeah, definitely. I'm kind of surprised myself, Andy. That should have been a goal, but the ref just continued to play on. Again, that's another one of Asaro's quick goals. And then bouncing off the net too fast for the referees to notice. Everyone clearly saw, seeing that one as a goal. But now they continue to play on. Armstrong. Now Gogge quick, swiftly comes around. Has another chance. Passing it to Galant. Dispossessed. Now it's Gogge taking the shot. Almost entering stoppage time, three minutes. Garrett gets it off to Armstrong, now Nader. With the real chance, McCants. Armstrong with the short. Not the way. Belong. Nader. Knocked away by the keeper. And the Green Hornets are still alive. Asaro. Tola. Taking the short. Cristiano. Shot now to Paganella. Finley. Finley on the move. Loses the puck near the end. Robert. Balata. His shot cleared out. Larry Wood off to Guy Robert. Foul ball. Now Dirk trying to reach for it, but instead. It's good for the Red Army. As Paganella now looking to try to finish off the Green Hornets. But now back to Nardo. Takes a short. Saved by the keeper. Green Hornets now playing with six men on the ice. They're notoriously known for this club. You know, it shows that the Green Hornets are definitely on this verge of scoring. I know this kind of like an obvious statement, but just a recap, they've done, the Green Hornets have done this 10 times and four out of the 10 times, including last year's championship game, the Green Hornets have only successfully made the tie, the game winning goal or the tying goal 
four of those ten times. Nardo now gets it over to Asaro, clearing it over in the Red Army area. They got another 20 seconds left. Referee possibly signaling a delayed penalty. But now to Dolge. Exciting finish here. Keeper makes this. It's a goal! No, it's not a goal. That's the second time today that the referees deny the Green Hornets. A goal that looked very obvious. But because the referee blew the whistle the first time, that means the Green Hornets are going to have to work all over again. And you can tell that these Green Hornets are definitely frustrated, Claude. Yeah, you've got to be when you have something like that happen, you know, denied of the goal. And the Red Army's going to win this one. Very disappointing. And you know these Green Hornets are very, very angry at the referees. You know, that's twice now, Claude, where they've just two questionable goals that possibly could have made this difference. A real disappointment there, but that's the power of the referees, you know, difference maker for the game. And on that note, the Red Army are now second place and will be on the home bench for next week's matchup. But Clyde, just be ready because next week it's going to be another gruesome matchup between these two teams. Yeah, definitely, Andy, you know, both of these teams are big rivals of one another. And to see, you know, these teams play their hearts out. You know, it's one of the best rivalries to see in over 50 hockey. We just can't wait for next week when they do this all over again. We thank you for joining us here today on their regular season finale. Grey Wolves, Yellow Jackets coming up in the next double-headed matchup. So stay tuned to that. But for Clive tells you, I'm Andy Townsend saying so long. And stay tuned.